Yeah, so this week on the podcast, we got into some talks about sports and entertainment, the things we do best. Talk a little bit about the NBA Finals and some other random sports stories before we got into the big things, which is the Kanye album. We ranked some of the best Kanye albums and where they fall, where this latest one kind of fell. The, um, the fact that Lil Wayne finally got from under that cash money contract, and hopefully we're going to wish him the best. And a little bit about Jay Prince and his influence on the music industry and on just culture as a whole. I mean, we recorded this on Thursday night, so at this point, the Cavs was down 0-3. So um, don't spoil the end of the story for me if they got swept. Don't, don't tell me. Don't tell me. I'd like to call the congregation forth to kind of share a little thought that's been dancing in my mind going on a few weeks. It seems to me in 2018, we got a new phrase for the word YOLO, or maybe it's been around since 2017, and I'm just getting hip to it. But as we all know, when somebody would do or say something and throw YOLO around it, potentially the act could have been kind of questionable. So that brings me to my next point. The phrase in question I'm talking about is this, I'm living my best life thing. Just because you're living your best life, that doesn't allow you to have a whole pass for a week or a month or for however long you're living your best life. Also, that does not allow you to do things that could be viewed as a violation and that could ultimately get you violated. So I'm just feeling like there should be a little checks and balances with the the whole YOLO thing. Because I think it's a fine line between living your best life and just being wicked. <laughs> per usual. Whoa, welcome to the Best Friend Weekend Podcast. It's your man, Aldo Nice. It's your boy, Rod Smooth. Wow, it's your boy, Los, a.k.a. C.A.P. I mean... Is it? Is it? Big, big facts. I think he's living his best life, though. Ain't nothing to say after that, but big facts, bro. <laughs> you know, my my, you know, Raj probably latching on to something. He's gonna come latch on to one particular part. I'm pretty sure. I just want to know. He said you can't do things that violate or can potentially you get you violated. Get you violated. Hey, they ain't that. They ain't never a lie right there. <laughs> you can live your best life all you want. <laughs> just don't violate. So I want to violate you. Oh, that's what he meant. That's deeper than what I thought. What you thought? I don't know. I, I was thinking he meant like as a woman, don't be out there like too loose, loose booty, aka living your best life, to where you might get violated by the opposite sex in a way that you don't want to be handled. He really meant don't be out there smashing somebody besides me and make me put my hands on you. That's simple. <laughs> I, I didn't get that point. I didn't. I mean, that's what that's what you, you thought. You took yeah. I, what? You took it way deep. Right? I mean, I thought I was like okay. You took it way deep. Being, I thought okay. it was. I get I, you, Rumble. I mean, hey, you know what? It's a double entendre. <laughs> <laughs> it's some fire lyrics. Yeah, boy, cold. I think, uh, I think definitely, if that's what he meant. They definitely have a point in time to where, um, you know, and I don't. This this is probably questionable, and you're probably gonna have to hit him with one of them the views. But um, <clears throat> uh, I think that <laughs> there, there comes a point in time in a relationship where uh, if a motherfucker would. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like if a bitch was to do something dirty to me, we didn't got to at this point. We've been pillow talking, we've been uh, we've been uh, we've been you know, you've been rubbing my back, and the in the mere thought of you out there doing all of that shit for another nigga <laughs> might make me put have to put them, put them dogs. Put them I, I'm, not, I'm not saying I would do it, but you know, the views expressed <laughs> by Rides do not express the views of the Best Friend Weekend podcast. We are. Non-violent towards women, we might sometimes say words that are not very becoming and make it sound like we don't have home training. But we definitely have home training. And, and we definitely respect women. Definitely do love Absolutely. Us. And so we will not be putting our hands on women. But the point you said is we make, will you wanna, your ass, make you want to. Make you want to. Yeah, make you want to. There's a difference make between make you want to and actually doing it. Um, make me want to violate you. I will thump the shit out your ass if you play with me. Because you're living your best life. Hey. You see, I've never heard living your... Well, I guess I have. YOLO, yeah, yeah, I guess both of those terms have been um, used for like a, a little cheating spree when a little chick gonna do her, quote unquote. Mm -hmm. I, girl, I'm out here living my best life. Yeah. Mm. Or, she, or she been hurt and she at home alone and then she finally get out and be like, girl, take the picture. It's a nice caption. I'm living my best life. But you just put on them see, clothes and take a picture. See, of but I don't look at that as synonymous with being out there thought. Nah, like, not that, living your no. best life. Well, they, the, that's on, the way he put it. It depends on what your best life is, though. Your best life is just enjoying yourself out having drinks with your girl. Yeah, I guess. You know I, what I'm saying you're not sitting at home, agree. whatever. But now, if your best life is running in and out, jumping on penises, <laughs> you know what I'm saying every every two days, different nigga penises. You know, hey, 
See, my thing is, I think me and you and Raj are all from a certain um, age range where we look at something like that. And when I hear living my best life, I think about like my social media circle. And when I hear, see people post, I'm living my best life and it's a young lady, she's usually um, on vacation mm-hmm. somewhere, ha- ha- at mimosas, at yeah. brunch, yeah. Um, you know, doing some stuff like that, like living their best life. Um, I'm lay- laying in my bed, sleeping late yeah. on, a, on a weekday, talking about I'm living my best life. I never, it's not synonymous for me with like a picture where they popping their ass at a, at a day party. Now, um, Rumble is 25 years he is, old. He is day party age. So right. maybe he's seeing something different with that term. I guess I got a bigger question. Who hurt you, Rumble? Yeah, I want to know no, how no. Rumble caught wind of this whole movement. You know, like how do you how do you become a part of the circle that's you know like that's leaking the living your best life real meaning. Because like you said, <laughs> when, I see, when I see living my best life, did that just go over my head? And did did Rumble just, did Rumble just like I better see better not see my old lady post living my best life because I know what that means. You Ooh. know, like, he might have told his. Le- it- he might have told his old lady, "Hey, you might need to listen to the podcast this week. Yeah, Ooh, check it out. Because I heard them. I heard them boys. I heard them boys got some um, important the boy, the boy, to talk about the right at the beginning. Touch your soul check it real out. quick. Yeah, I mean, and they they want to. The boys just actually want to give you a, a nice little um, quick, heads up, out. a little heads up, a little warning, so you know what's coming. Shots mm-hmm. fired before, before yeah. you get bang, violated. Bang. Play with me. Or make me violate you. Play with me. Play. <laughs> Play with me. You good? Oh, you good? Yeah. Violate you. Let me let me be <laughs> correct. Right in that in that way, man. Hey, man. Look, it's been a um, it's been a awesome week. We've been doing some cool things, man. Make sure y'all follow the podcast if you're not already doing it. You know what? If you don't like the podcast, don't subscribe. Yeah, please don't. You know, if you like it and you think it's cool, and I I've been hearing some good little conversation going on about different things we talk about in the podcast. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We've been doing really good. The statistics are looking good online. Um, uh, you know, keep tuning in. Keep telling people about the podcast. We're doing big work Check over there. Check the Twitter here. page out. The Twitter page is popping. Follow, follow Let's get right into that talk because I think it's interesting. Um, Los sent something recently, and we kind of this is always something that you guys might notice. Um, that every now and again, what was it? You could you remember it? It's like Wendy's tweeted something. Oh yeah, Wendy's Wendy's and um and Chick Fil A be going. Chick Fil A said, "Come get a, yeah. a Chick Fil A sandwich." But they say, but the, uh, no, they said that they they taste the best. Yeah, and uh, Wendy say not on Sunday. Yeah. No, that's not what you, you, it says you know it like something along the lines of you know what would make your Tuesday great. Yeah, one of our Chick Fil A's chick from chicken sandwiches. Yeah, Wendy's is yeah, like, but yeah. well, what about on Sunday? Like that's more. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Shots fired. I like that. I like that type of stuff, man. I think it's very, very entertaining and funny. You know, just to think that somebody is sitting there on the Twitter, on the phone, on the Twitter, shooting back at corporations like yeah. that. Like they two corporations going back. It's cool to me. You know what I mean? So um, what this made me talk about, me and Los was just talking about this on air before we started. There was a time in our youth when this wasn't a thing. Now, I can't quantify this. I can't find uh, the... um, I probably could if I took the time to do so. Mm -hmm. There's probably some kind of litigation that happened, and I would say it's in the early 2000s, maybe. Do you remember the first time you was watching a commercial or something, and all of a sudden... Ford was on there talking about boy Chevy some hoes. <laughs> yeah. Like, like yeah. that wasn't back in the day. They they didn't used to do that. But see, then all of a sudden was it was like legal? Legal? I, I think I it might have been. I, think I think it might have been like grow slander. more petty. Okay, they grow petty. You know what I mean? Just like uh, evolution. You like, think our society has evolved into pettiness? And corporations see it's cool and it's fun to beef like that. I don't think they, they, don't think they play because, with their money like that, though. But you're not playing with them, but you like rappers. When rap, rappers beef, okay, with uh, the Drake and uh, Pusha T situation, we'll talk about that later. With that situation, Pusha T is the man now. He was in a whole festival with okay, kids. Pusha T is, no not one's ever called Pusha the T the man. He's not dog, the man. Dog, Pusha T popping right now, though. That don't mean he's the man. He's not right the man. now. He no. popping for these two weeks he got. No. You lying. You don't know. Drake already told us he was the man. (laughs) And actually, 50 Cent told me he was the man a long time. (laughs) Put your teeth popping right (laughs) here. Put a big in in the run. (laughs) Who sang that song? I'm I'm the man. man. I'm I'm the man. man. God, oh, my God, my God, my girlfriend. What, you know, I'm the man. Uh, I'm the man. I don't remember who made that. A lot of niggas. Oh, okay. And if if we're tracing the lineage of the man, then I would think that. Mystical has to be the man. Yeah. <laughs> the man. He was the first the man. man, right? <laughs> he was the first man. He, was, he might have been the first man. Okay. Definitely was the first man. I don't know if Pusha T popping or not. <laughs> no, trust me. But okay, go on he, Twitter. Okay, I guess. Boy, I he's, he's more relevant than he was. Ever. He in should. 
Um, and actually, po- uh, this podcast is brought to you by my line sister Dawn. I don't know what Dawn's social media name is, but Dawn got on our um on our IG this week. I don't know if you guys noticed when she when she shots she shot some fi- um fired some shots. My apologies at us and our little takes on some of the things we was talking about in the podcast. But I don't remember exactly what she said, but she said something to the extent of um good music. I mean Kanye West them good music obviously should honor that hundred thousand dollars to um <laughs> to OVO. Like she she had a whole bunch of other thoughts, but in that in the thought she said you, you should honor that hundred thousand because it's had. worth it. Yeah, it, it is. Like what Drake did and no. dropping that disc and making you relevant is worth it. Now Pusha T is doing stuff that he hadn't done since uh grinding. Right now. That's the only Pusha T song whole... I know. Exactly. I t- no, I was right about that thing. He was on the Runaway song. He was on the um on that Kanye West Runaway song. Oh yeah, ad living now. No, he was the whole song. I mean, he, he had the only rap verse, and I always find and mm-hmm. I always find, find something wrong. wrong. Yeah, Pusha T's on that. Right. Anyway, as what you were. say, I don't know. I don't know his verse. Oh, Pusha T pulled yeah, me. You, you don't know his verse from Grind. You didn't no, see Pusha T's song verse on the right. <laughs> 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 he said something probably like Virginia, heaven forget, dope. I'm pushing it, pushing packs, pushing. Didn't he make that song? Push. I'm pushing it. That's push. Rick Ross, bro. I'm push. That's Rick Ross? Yeah. Didn't he make, um, uh, push. Go and get the money. Go and get the money. No. Push. No, push. That, that? <laughs> Not oh, that was OT Genesis? <laughs> okay. Definitely OT. Didn't he make, um, Push it. Push, push it, it real good. good. <laughs> Did he no, make that? Not him. Damn, whatever. I don't know what he made. Uh, nah, we just kick. Push. Kick. I was no, why did you know Drake what I use that one? Oh, oh my God! <laughs> well, I thought he made the song. I'm that. I'm your mama. I'm your daddy. I'm that nigga in the alley. I'm your pusher man. <laughs> that's not. That's not him. <laughs> not him. Definitely not him. Either. Well, I guess we don't know what Pusha T ever made. Right. So, but 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 that's your man's though. And he's nice. Whoa! Man, look at my high CI in the, the house, man. Let me get one of the buzz over there. Big guy. Oh uh, man. High CI. Yo. That's my high CI. One song that Pusha T made. You probably know six of them. My high. I want to ask you a question real quick. Give me, give me your give me your favorite Pusha T song. Grind. <laughs> Give me another one. That's it. Shit. That's it. Grab <laughs> the remix. Grab the remix. <laughs> That's it. Nobody know Pusha T. But right now, right now, he 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 killing them though. Okay. I I guess I guess if you say so. But my whole point was people didn't used to do that. They just used to go in. Yeah. But now NBA teams be going at yeah. one another. Um, corporations be going at each other via their social media. So my biggest point is. Whether y'all know this or not, CAP, a.k.a. Los, is the person who runs at BFW Pod yeah. on, um, on Twitter. Now, obviously, some of us, Raj and I, every now and again, pop in there and say something. But Los is pretty much the one um, tweeting. My thing is, who is tweeting for these corporations? And my, I already know the answer, and the answer is niggas. Yeah. Some, some dude named Devon with, with big hands <laughs> with the phone right there. It's not, it's not a dude. Dudes don't have clap oh. back like that. It's a chick. It's a black chick. It be, it's a black chick. It could be a little white girl. They, they kind of snap. It could be. A, I, and I wanted to throw that in there too. So they got some very, very snarky white chicks. So yeah. that, that could be a thing <laughs> they too. Cold, they cold with definitely a chick. Yeah. I, okay. I'll and, and, and you know, a lot of times they be, they be like, and I'm, I'm kind of switching into the sports teams too. Because the sports teams, I think they really, like when it's Wendy's and stuff, those be well thought out clap backs that's, you know, just universally funny. With the sports team, sometimes emotions be involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like y'all just beat us and put us out the playoffs, and in the moment they'll tweet something like a yeah, picture or something, uh, some yeah. some wild right, yeah. that the team will have to come out and apologize yeah. for down the line <laughs> yeah. because I think emotions be involved with it. So there you go. Oh, Buddy just got fired from the Sixers for that Twitter stuff with his wife. He so said his wife did it. Jerry Colangelo, him. huh? Brian Colangelo, one of them. That was him. Yeah, that, that was, was wild. No, he, he was on that like he obviously had he had six accounts wrong with him. Yeah. <laughs> You have to have something wrong with you to have the best job in the NBA. You're the GM of the of the one team that's like got the most promising future, and you throw it all away over Twitter. That's dumb. He was using it to push the agenda that he's really a good like GM, mm-hmm. and the. 
because everybody liked the one before because the one before was the one responsible for the process. Yeah. And they brought him in like to bring the process to fruition and everybody is skewering him. I mean, and I know why they're skewering him because he didn't take Jason. He got... He got Danny Ainge to like pull his pants down mm-hmm. and rape him on live TV yeah. when he he traded that out of the first pick to the third pick and Dumb. took Markel Fultz and let him take Jason Tatum. Dumb. Like you, like Dumb. what else? Like Dumb. you dumb. But you know that, that makes Danny Ainge like a fire ass little dude. Though, yeah, right? no, Danny <laughs> Ainge is Danny, dope. Danny Ainge be cheating though too. His yeah, whole shit is built that, built on cheating. How? Okay. It's the American the, way. Um, the, 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 the original era that leads up to Kevin Durant them now with that bullshit team was started by Danny Ainge cheating when Kevin McHale was the general manager of the Timberwolves, uh, yeah. and that was his partner from the Celtics. And he was like, all right, I'm going to give you Kevin Durant. I mean, Kevin Garnett for yeah. nothing. And um, then we could get Ray Allen in here too. Yeah, he did that. He started the whole era that we in now. So I mean, I guess maybe he is the godfather of everything. Right, he's Lavar Ball. <laughs> <laughs> that was cheap. That was cheating at the time. Right. That man, that was cheating at the time. But hey, it is what it is, man. Y'all want to talk music or y'all want to just hop into the finals for a little while? We talking sports. Let's talk about the finals before we get into the music thing. Man. Um, go back. Go back. Go back. To a couple of podcasts ago, and I I believe I said a sweep, a supermarket sweep. <laughs> My nigga, <laughs> you don't you don't My know nigga. what podcast you on right now? I know. I mean, I get you. You did say that. But this podcast is brought to you by LeBron James. Tell her again. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. Nigga, don't do that. Okay. Don't no, LeBron I, on the podcast. My point is just, Roger. Come on, man. What is what is that really saying? That's like saying, boy, I told y'all to um. The 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 Patriots was gonna beat um, LSU. <laughs> like, I mean, right? No facts. Like, like, I'm, I'm with you. I'm, I'm with you on that. All I want to know is, did you did you say sweep as well? Like, is that what you said? No, nah, I didn't. I didn't okay. because I thought they would have won either game one or game three. One of those two type of games that they could have won. Mm-hmm. I think they would have been able to figure it out. If like, look, honestly, LeBron played trash in game three. Yeah, he, he like had a, a trip, the most trash triple double I've ever seen. Like a hoe. He he couldn't score. He didn't want. He kept acting like whenever the pick would come, he would just passively go. Hey, the actual, the actual push game, that the, dude the, out the, the way and the, check Kevin Durant. Yeah, the, the shot that he hit, LeBron was to be on him, man. Yeah. That, was, that was a soft ass screen. We play soft we play screen. ball what three four times a week, three times a week. You fight over that screen, come right, especially if it's LeBron me and uh, Kevin Durant, knowing he eight feet tall, he a single. No, go over there, Rodney Hood. Yeah, go Hood ain't played two years. Come on, man. I'll do that, bro. Yeah, I mean, all of that to say, Raj, yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm going to give you to... absolutely, absolutely. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to gloat. I, I, I'm not, I'm really not. I'm really not. Because I think that we all knew what was going to happen. But yeah. uh, we all knew the, we all knew that the poss- there was the possibility for this to happen. Yes. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm with that. But I just don't think after watching the, th- the three games, of course, game one happened. We know how game one ended. We know who sh- probably should have won that game. But, after uh after watching this series, there's nothing that they can do. There's it's just no like I, the Kevin Durant aspect of the Warriors just made them near unstoppable. They're not they're not even it's not even fair. But you know what though? It's not they fair actually can be beat when they when they're playing bad. Yeah, they can't be beat. They could have been beat twice in the yeah, series. Yeah, really the Rockets supposed to be there. If they didn't lose Chris Paul, the Rockets had them beat. True that. And you know what? They, they don't even like the Rockets. The thing about the Rockets is that um I, I said it on to a lot of people who listen that. If you swap out LeBron James with James Harden, the Rockets would have won in six. Might have even won in five. Big fact. Because James Harden couldn't go one-on-one and get buckets like that. Like, LeBron with that same team, they win with or without Chris Paul. Because of the P.J. Tuckers of the world mm-hmm. and the Trevor Arizas and how they were switching on defense. Yeah. They was d them boys up. Yeah, that's and that's, that's like yeah. what I didn't expect the Rockets to be yeah, able oh, to do. They don't never play defense. Mm-hmm. But the thing about, the thing about um, James Harden is he can go one-on-one and get buckets. But when it comes time to crunch time in the playoffs, he disappeared, man. Yeah. He was cast with a friendly ghost when they really, really needed him, man. For like three games. So I shopped this idea out. Everybody's like, you know, we live in Houston, right? H time, man. City of Serb, man. You know what I'm man, saying? Clutch up. City. Man, 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 hold up, man. What's up, fool? What hey, up, baby? How did, I, how, did that get, how did that get the nickname Clutch City? How did that happen? When the Rockets won. When oh, the Rockets won, yeah. yeah. 90, 94, 95 is when they started hey, now, on themselves. They so that's like calling like yourself America's team. <laughs> exactly. Big facts. You're not Big wrong, facts. You're right, Big facts. 
Um, like yeah, they just automatically was like, we are the t- we are the city that is clutch. I mean, I don't the know. The mascot how, name yeah, is clutch, bro. Yeah. I, I'm not. I'm not even gonna do it. I'm not even gonna go into the is Houston um, Clutch City or not. Every day. Rocket City, Space City, first in <laughs> first in space. Um, yeah. s- city is served. Two cups of H time. Main hold up. Hold up, better. Uh, throwing up the dudes, giving Brains it the and Yeah, man, all that. Um, mm-hmm. when I come down, I'll be throwing up the no. When I come down, I'll be chunking up the South Switch House and Red Shop, yeah, Body yeah, Rock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway, all of that. We live out here. So the big thing in the streets right now is that. Um, when LeBron come to Houston. So my thought is just this. It wouldn't be like Durant if he came to Houston. It wouldn't be such a whole move. It would be a move to keep up with how the NBA is. If he want to win, he got to do that. He would have to do that. What's that, Ron? He said, ain't no, that something? No, ain't that something? It's just, it's like, the because I think, Durant going to the Warriors was like a whole move. I was in a barber shop mm-hmm. and they told me, "Oh no, that was smart." Of course, it was smart, but it was a whole move nonetheless. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. And I just think that that would be a matched whole move. It was like, "Oh, since he being a hoe, I'm gonna be a hoe." Like, okay, so I get that, but what made the Kevin Durant move the made the whole aspect of Kevin Durant's move even more? You know what it is? The what fact that they just should have beat him in the, the yes. series prior to the championship. Yes. So yeah. LeBron wouldn't have that aspect if he came to Houston. I but don't that's think not the largest. Come. That's not the largest aspect. The largest aspect is that was the best player, arguably, going to the like one of the historically greatest teams of all Kevin time. Kevin Durant has never been the best player ever in his career. The, okay. So and, and I'm not two. saying I'm not saying that I agree with that, but I just think that okay. there's some people that believe that that know about basketball. Gotcha. So it's gotcha. arguably is my key word here. Um, so I think that that was a whole move, but I think in order to make that whole move, the Warriors have to be set up the way that they were set up. You know, you get yeah. Draymond in the Home second. Talent. You get Seth, talent. You get, yeah, you get Stephen Curry in the first, and he's not as good as he, he is now. And so you give him yeah. a mediocre contract and then you give a, you have a very cheap Clay Thompson. So now you got enough money to sign a guy like, um, like Kevin yeah. Durant, but the Rockets it's, situation is a little bit different. The Rockets went all in for this year. Yeah. I mean, it's like, yeah, the, the the Warriors are like the Seahawks wearing football. That when they were winning those, chances. it's like everybody's cheap right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then they were able to kind of they were able to capitalize and, and strike. And the NBA has rules in place. You know what's so funny to me about that? Now everybody's Warriors fans. Like uh, well, nobody was go. ever a Warriors fan. That's how so what's next? Like it's gonna be everybody walk around with Timberwolves stuff on. No, everybody gonna be over? everybody gonna be a Celtics fan in about a year yeah. or two. So everybody gonna uh, be a I think Philly is going to be the, that that next. You know, we talked about that just now. They need Philly one more piece, though. Ah, they need one more piece. Philly don't have nobody to put it on the ground and get buckets. I, no matter how much I shoot, no much, no matter how much I hate it, Jason Tatum is. He he a, he a, hey. That might be the next one. I just don't like the extreme light skin. He yeah, yeah. Be a little nah, I don't like that either. I don't like the fact that his hairline is way down. It's perfect. I don't like that. We already talked about it. Who like was talking him. about who's the next one? Uh, you already know that I think that Donovan Mitchell is the next one. So that's. I don't. I think I don't, Jason Tatum's nah, pretty good. I actually don't believe that at all. No, no? you don't think that. You don't think. You that. Just like no, I really do little. think that. I really do think that Donovan Mitchell is going to be the next guy. Next up, you know he's going to be. He's going to be Carl Malone out there and just out there he playing for not, Utah, having might, to jump it and never win. Yeah, he he's might going, never he, he have the up. opportunity. He might never have. Oh, the he opportunity might be. To take oh, he might be Monte Ellis. Yeah. No, I don't think he'll be Monte Ellis. He'll look better. Than I mean, but now we don't know. He might be Darren Williams. Like he, there's a lot like of things Darren's he could be, but like that, like, absolutely. Like we don't know yet. Absolutely, he might. But I'm just telling you what I think. I just, I just I think you. that Donald no, no, Mitchell you're right. is. You're right. He got something that them boys don't have. Like I think that. I don't. I, you know what? Like, that boy ain't. That boy ain't Lonzo. He ain't Lonzo Ball, that. boy. I, I like Lonzo, boy. Stop that. I like Lonzo a lot. And, and he can rap. And Lonzo, his commercials be funny on, like, yeah. the, the finals. I'm like, look, Lonzo talking funny shit on TV, Talk man. about his dad. Doing shots at his dad. <laughs> his dad, it is kind of hard for him to make, those, to make those jokes. You know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> funny, man. We like Lonzo. I like, I'm a Lonzo fan. I, I mean, Lonzo going to be who he is. I hope LeBron don't go to L.A. That's stupid. So, yeah, that my thing about LeBron, dumb. and I, this kind of the play I want to point out there. I don't want him to go nowhere. Somebody said earlier that you, the best player shouldn't have to go nowhere. I really don't want him to go nowhere. Yeah. I would want one of two things to happen. Because people was like, man, if LeBron go to the, this would the, and then going back to my whole Houston narrative, they was like, if LeBron come to Houston, boy, that's what they need to, whatever. And in my head, I'm like, LeBron is like one player away yeah. right now from being yeah. the Warriors, even though the Warriors are substantially yeah. better than him. Because yeah. LeBron's that good. Yeah. 
So what I would love to happen, Paul George, Paul George, or, and this one's probably harder to happen. Obviously, it's harder to happen. Kevin Durant. No, not Kevin. Oh, that was, <laughs> that's funny. Kevin Durant coming okay. to the Cavs. So I, I said that yesterday. Be you know what I said that yesterday? He beat the sweep him and then coming to Cavs next year and slaughter everybody. Like LeBron wouldn't take it. What? what? No, Kawhi Leonard is the, the, the one I was Yeah. Saying. Get LeBron and Kawhi and then go up against That's a win. Him. But the funny, the one I was saying I mean, yesterday. You got to keep hood, though. I was like, LeBron, LeBron didn't go to the Warriors. <laughs> And then he did trade him for Steph Curry and Draymond. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, fuck y'all boys, man. I'm taking y'all team. Me, yeah. Kevin Durant, Bitch. and, and fucking Clay. Now fuck Kill y'all, boy. That's actually, well, I don't know if you saw recently Stephen A. Just, I can't name them all, but Stephen A. just put out seven teams that, that, um, that'll have a shot for LeBron James in this offseason, and the Warriors were one of them. Ooh, um, man, that's it's no easier problem. for him monetarily, financially, to go to the Warriors than it is for him to go to the Rockets. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you, I don't know if y'all knew that, but to me, there's two know. teams that LeBron should consider: the Pelicans and who else? The Pelicans. I think. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I'm dead serious. I really think that no, the you Pelicans, should be like have the best the best roster for LeBron, and um and the Pelicans in Philadelphia. Yeah, but the only thing that I think about Philadelphia, the only thing that I don't uh, like really agree with in Philadelphia is that Ben Simmons is is like a poor man's LeBron James. Like that man. His his player man, comparison is LeBron. Poor man, nothing. He cold. Well, no, I ben got Simmons. you. So ben, I just, ben Simmons, I don't he just can't him, shoot. I don't see how Ben Simmons and LeBron can work because if if LeBron, you know, drives into the into the hole and kicks it out to Ben Simmons, he's not going. He gonna drive into the hole and kick it out to LeBron. That's all he gonna do. <laughs> hey, he's not shooting that thing. <laughs> It's like you playing 2K and, bo- and you got two user control people on the same team. And you drive and kick to the nigga and he drives. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. Nah, I just hey, keep man. shooting. Nah. I think that our Twitter needs to have that on there. Put that on our Twitter. There's no way Guns. LeBron goes to Philadelphia. Because if he does and he decides to drive and kick out to Ben Simmons, then Ben Simmons is going to drive. Drive. Back out kick it back to Brown. While LeBron <laughs> running back to the like getting out the way and running back down, he's going to kick it back to him around half point. That's funny. Yeah. That's That's I don't know. We'll see, man. Hopefully, LeBron makes good decisions and stays competitive. I want him to go to the finals for 15 years straight. Let's keep it rolling, LeBron. I, I mean, mean, why not? They had I also. A, a, I, this is this is interesting to me. Before before you go, this is very interesting no, to me. I actually heard that LeBron is a part of like the uh, the competition committee of, of sorts. I don't know the exact <laughs> name of it, but there was this um, there was this motion that someone put out to go conferenceless whenever you're deciding who's going to make the um Oh yeah, I remember that. I remember about that. I mean, and LeBron was playoff, against it. And LeBron was like noticeably against that that Of that course, oh, yeah. So well, that's almost a that's almost a, a little peek into I don't think LeBron's ever going to leave the East. So if it is a team that he's going to go to, it's not going to be in the Western Conference. He knows what he's doing. So I didn't see this I didn't see this this um tweet. I don't remember exactly what it was. Because my phone is acting up right now, but um, it was fake. It's definitely a fake tweet, but it was it was the real Donald Trump, and it was out today. Did y'all see that? Oh, yeah. It was like at King James. Yeah. It was like, why are you worrying about coming to the White House? Earn an invite first. Yeah, earn an invite yeah. first. You're on your way to three and six. Yeah. <laughs> now I know you didn't say that, but if Trump would have said that, that would have been hilarious. I, I don't put it past Trump. Well, the thing about it is, have you noticed? A lot of people have said this: that LeBron is the one Teflon black person in America that Trump won't go at. Hmm. There's been some think pieces on that about why LeBron is the only person who Trump has never said anything about. LeBron had called him a bum. LeBron yeah. had talked like his allegiance to Hillary. LeBron had did all this. He didn't say he wasn't coming to the wire. Le- he has talked about Steph Curry. Yeah. He's talked about other. He's never said a word about LeBron. And the reason people say is because... Maybe call him? No, they say, just, they say LeBron got business stopping power. They say mm-hmm. nobody else could stop business in the NBA or in sports like LeBron, like LeBron James. It's like LeBron could re- legit be like, I right, like nobody, shut, nobody yeah, go to the Trump Towers. Like anymore. some crazy stuff. Like he could do some crazy business minded things that, um, that, that would have him on a different level. So, I mean, I believe it. I don't know. Roger, believe that's the thing. Uh, d- yes. And no, <laughs> you I say yes. It. And no, yeah, and no, I just I don't think that that man I don't think that he would necessarily stop business, but I do get it. Like I we we had this discussion a couple of days ago. In fact, it was after our last podcast. Like, what would you do if you were to encounter LeBron James? You know, like in that I think that that's that one person in today's era that that has that effect 
on people. I mean, of course, there's a couple other ones, but I think that he's the highest priority uh, athlete. Athlete. athlete so, you, yeah. so you probably don't want to go – you want to be careful with LeBron James, but – I don't put it past Trump, like like Lowe so said, to, to say something and not give a care. I, I think he um, still would. I think I think I think he'd play crazy, but I don't think he's crazy. You think he'll fool you, not a damn fool. Yeah, I mean that's just kind of where I'm at with it. But I'm talking about Trump. No time like the president to talk about Trump's buddy. I love how Floyd Mayweather came out this week. He was like, "That's not I, nah, 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 nah. Come here, come here. This is my friend. This is my friend. <laughs> Trump ain't my friend. I know a lot of people. Yeah. Um, but his 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 self proclaimed buddy. Kanye West dropped the album, and I, we said we were going to talk about it. We talked a little bit about that. That was definitely going to be a thing. Yeah. So the Ye album um, came out last week. Another seven-track banger. We've already had the discussion on if seven tracks is a uh, is an album, but whatever. That's what they're doing minutes, now. Man. He's coming out with another album, like probably by the time this podcast drops, he'll be out tomorrow. He'll have another one. Him and Kid Cudi. So um, he's in album mode. I guess is the right way um, to put it. Um, thoughts on the album? Uh, that's it. it. My thoughts. Meh. Meh. <laughs> it's okay. I heard somebody say that they were bracing for, I mean, that they were hoping that Kanye would hit us for a, with an A-plus album that we didn't see coming. They were bracing for like an F-bomb album that he was only like talking about MAGA and, and all kind of bullshit mm-hmm. like that. And it was like, we got a solid B. I'm like, I, I don't guess. know if it's a B. I don't know if it's a B. It's like a Are you C. saying B as in boy C or B as in dog? B as in boy. <laughs> B as in boy. I mean, but C is such an easy... I mean, they don't put the middle... Um, they don't put average on the Likert scale because they want you to make a decision. Yeah. Is it better than average or worse? If we say it on a scale of one to four, what is it, Los, with four being the best? Two. So you put it on a lower so average. scale. Two is... You You know, realize what I just did there? I'll give it a two. Okay, so below average is what you're saying. Okay. Two. Two and a half. You can't do that. That's the reason that I just said <laughs> one, two, three, or four. I want to give it a two and a half. Two and a half. No, um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a slightly above average. It's a regular seven song EP. I mean, it wasn't nothing special. It Any songs so jump off e- there that you. So it's an EP? <laughs> it's not even an album. It's, it's a playlist. It's, if, if somebody gave me a mixtape and a playlist and it was seven songs, I'd be like, this shit whack, dog. Why you only got I, seven songs in the playlist? I want to listen to it. <laughs> but now, I. I he got two songs on here. I like All Mine and uh, Yikes. Yikes is the one where he said, uh, he said, Russell Simmons said he prayed for mm-hmm. me too. Yeah. I'm going to pray for you because he got me too. <laughs> hey, I want to ask a question. So I didn't, so I honestly haven't listened to it because I was actually under the impression it's laughable. I was under the impression that it wasn't on iTunes because I looked for it and I didn't find I it. I thought you was about to say, I thought we was boycotting it. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's what I was hoping you was gonna say. I, I don't. I'm not. You know, I don't really boycott anything. So, um, so anyway, what I want to ask is if there's some, um, if there's some bangers on there, you know, like Ham or like, um, you know, nah. like from the, the Watch the Throne, or is it all just like I'm Kanye and I can say what I want to say because I'm Kanye. It's it's not quite that, but it's in between. It's a little above. I'm Kanye and I can say what I want to say. Musically, it sounds, it sounds great. I mean, he ain't got some beats, and I don't know what he put together, but I, for me, it was just okay. He had some songs like that. Like, honestly, for me, they were two songs. Uh, no Mistakes. It's a short one with a Charlie Wilson sample, and Charlie Wilson and Kid Cudi, I think, are singing at the same time. It's mm-hmm. dope. And the one that everybody's on right now, Roger, if you're going to listen to any song on that, it's got replay value. I think the artist who's um, who's... Um, featured on it is 707 Shake or 07 Shake. I don't know the person's name. Which one is it? Ghost Town. Mm, Ghost yeah. Town is the one everybody's talking yeah. about. Ghost Town is like the... Uh, Ghost Town goes hard. Ghost Town goes super hard. I get it. But it's two songs out of seven. That's not <laughs> a good... That's like that's like J.R. Smith. Like two out of seven right there. That's like, there's no good average right there. So I think it's... I, I'm with Los. I think it's a little bit better than average because it's Kanye Beats. Yeah. But it's not an event, you know what I mean? In our adult lives, I've come to the to the um, expectation that a Drake album and yeah. that a Kanye album I should listen to that for like two or a straight. Wayne album should be ex- should be like events that yeah. I'm I just put it on and I go. Some people feel the same way about Rick Ross. 
Yeah. I was I was there Rick for Rick a minute. Rick Ross is ex- extremely consistent. You that's know what that's what get. he is. That's what he, he is. He really don't miss. He come with the same shit. He he talk eloquent. All that extra shit he be putting in there, and it's the same. It's gonna ride. You are gonna listen to it. He gonna give you five, six good songs off of that. You can just play. But some the club. people, sometimes people just kind of they they're gone, they're gone, they're gone, and they fall off. It's like who would have ever thought Eminem's gonna be trash, or who would have ever thought Fifty Cent's gonna drop albums and nobody would care, or who would have ever you know it, it happens. Yeah. So I'm wondering if we're at the point where like Kanye West is like on his Kobe shit, like Stay he's behind the board. Like bro. yeah, you, you you're done. Like you're not making no more towards Achilles. It's possible. I think, but I think all of them boys. I think Kanye West using that whole music platform and in, in his in his original talent to you know do other stuff. I think that man. I think that man got so many more. And you know, like him or not, I think that man want to hop into fashion. I even think, you know, you might not take him seriously or whatnot, but I think he probably even want to hop into politics seriously at, at some mm-hmm. point in his life. So <laughs> I, I don't. I don't see. Him, like I don't think he. I don't think he cares. I don't think he cares so much about his music anymore. Like it don't seem like he has that same passion. Granted, I didn't listen to the album yet, but it don't. It just doesn't seem like he gonna put something out for us. He puts stuff out for him, you know. And I'm, if if you haven't listened to the album, the first song he says that. Mm-hmm. The first song starts off with "I thought about killing myself, but why would I do that?" No, he said, he said, I love myself way more. I love I myself you. way more than I love and I you. I thought about killing myself. And I thought about, yeah. And I, so I you thought know about, I thought about killing you. Exactly. God So damn, somebody God. today said that, you know, when you listen to it, you think Kim Kardashian. But somebody was like, uh, and I, I wish I could give them props for this because it's, it's introspective. They said, Kanye is probably talking about us hmm. as black fans. I thought about killing y'all. Like, I thought about making an album that I'm like, you know, fuck y'all niggas. Like, um, make America great and y'all niggas ain't never did nothing for me and blah, 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 my own man. He was like, but I didn't. He's like, I thought about killing myself, but I love me way more than I love you people out here listening to me. Mm. And I and it made sense when he was breaking down some of the lyrics and why they thought that. I mean, it, you know, people, you, you drop art. Yeah. You put out, like like we said about Donald Glover a couple of weeks ago. You throw out art. People interpret how they people want People interpret, interpret yeah. exactly. However you consume it, you consume it. As long as you consume it. That's all he care about. I think, too, you can't make fire albums in Wyoming. Sorry. You got to go. Well, I also want to tell you that Wyoming is about, I was very disappointed. <laughs> um, Wyoming is about an hour away from me. And I found out after that he he dropped it in Wyoming. Not to say that I could have even been there. It looked like there's some pretty good. You, you could have been on that one that got the let out. Are you right? Yeah. You, you feel me? <laughs> I mean <laughs> like like you said, like you said, when Kanye, when Drake, I'm not throwing Lil Wayne in there, but he, but at one point in time Lil Wayne, definitely what? Kanye and Drake as of right now yeah, for me, when they drop something, um, I did see it as an event. I do I guess I do see it as an event. The Carter what Five you listen to it. Mm. The Carter Five. We're gonna get to the Carter Five in a minute, but really, you can I, to I, it now before the, before we do it. The podcast. We, I'm gonna I'm think of the Carter Five as an event. I'm, I'm gonna be watch. ready for it. I'm, Are you? I'm twelve o'clock at the Carter Five. Though. Yeah, I mean I am, but I'm not. But but guess what? The difference is, and I think Los can agree with this. I will, but my expectation isn't gonna be nah. that it's the shit. Okay. My okay. expectation is gonna be that it's it's, it's gonna be man, man. And Wayne not going. Wayne not going. He's gonna disappoint me. I'm gonna be hurt. I'm probably cry. It's been the Wayne fan since a, a long time, bro. Since one million, two million, three. Oh, it's my part. Is this what we talking about? Is, yeah, is this Next what we talking about right now? You know, you know. I mean, Lil, let, let's go to it then. You Shit. know, Lil Y'all Wayne was on it. actually supposed to drop the Carter, uh, the Carter Five, five. The nine, nine, C- three C five. Ten. Did you three know that? Three C five. You say what? In ninety nine, it, it was supposed to drop for the nine nine and the two thousand. Boy, he's stupid. And, and, <laughs> <laughs> Baby been holding that man back. It's a shame. Okay, so well, this this is the story everybody he knew. Wanted Wayne live his best life, huh? It says after <laughs> what feels like an eternity. <laughs> <laughs> Lil Wayne been living his best life. Nah, Sorry. baby won't let that nigga. Okay, Bye, so Lil Wayne and Birdman's financial dispute appears to have run its course, and Weezy reportedly won ten million dollar settlement with Jewel con- Santana confirming recently that his long awaited collaborative "I Can't Feel My Face" with Wayne has been completed. It's like a lot of different things is happening right now. The New Orleans rapper's lawsuit against Birdman and Cash Money seem to have been dragging out. But alas, it looks like a resolution has finally been reached. Um, and both sides, they say $10 million. So all of that, now that the settlement's reached, the countdown is on for the C5 to drop. We'll keep you posted. That was from um, HotNewHipHop.com. I'm kind of drove to even hear that stupid shit. I don't want to hear 
Jules Santana and Wayne. I don't want to hear that. Well, okay, so I had this talk with somebody recently. Um, I think it, I think it was me and Tim and Means talking about this, about how you get to a point in your life, and I was like, Lil Wayne is the same age as Los and I, mm -hmm. born the same year, right around mm -hmm. the same time. He's been rapping since he was what, like they say eight? About 12, 11. Okay, seriously, on the road 11, and shit since he's 11, 12. So he's been doing that for 20 plus years. Doesn't it come to a time where you're like, I got millions of dollars and I just want to skateboard and smoke weed and eat food and chill at my house? Then what he be doing is so all he do anyway. It, <laughs> can't Lil Wayne, I mean, he's telling y'all free C5, but does he really care? No, but, but that's not the. I, okay, he so retired. I'm glad. He's retired. I'm glad you said it. But think about the last time Lil Wayne put out an album. It it's been a while. Yeah. It's been a while. The quarter four. Okay, I, it wasn't supposed to drop for the nine nine until two thousand. That's not true. <laughs> I don't know if you knew that or not. So I just want to. <laughs> no, um, you, you, you really. But it was supposed. Really to, I remember. I remember. You know, at the time that the quarter five was supposed to drop, it was an event for me. Like it was a big oh. event because I remember it vividly. It was supposed to drop December two thousand fourteen. Mm -hmm. That's four years ago. Yeah. That's the quarter five. I don't have the date of the Carter Four, but it was some time okay. before that. Then it was so supposed to be. Hold on, go let's ahead. go to I can't yeah. feel my face. Right, that was supposed to drop. Yeah. And that was supposed to be an event. Never dropped. Yeah. What about the one with him and T Pain? That was supposed to drop when T Pain was hot. It never dropped. Yeah. There's but a lot of stuff that they missed out on. Birdman yeah. screwed his career a lot. I mean, but you do remember that when the Carter Three dropped. It was an event like none other. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was the one where he had the Carter documentary going on. And he, so he went platinum in like a week or some shit. He went, but you're he right, he had some subpar projects. All his cars went a meal in one week. Maybe it's the first one, but no, two and three and four went a meal first week. I'm pretty sure. Almost. I'm going to be excited. And I think maybe the hiatus is what's going to make me excited about C5. I hope we just drop out the blue when I go on as soon as it's just there. I don't, 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 I don't want to see no commercials. I don't want to see no posters on the side. Don't do that. I just need him to have some great ass production on that bitch. Go to go to Wyoming with Kanye. I need him to have Mike Dean and shit on there. I need him to have just like Mike Will made it. Right? Well, young, he gotta have them young niggas on there. Them young niggas making stuff. Like, you can't go back. You can't go back to Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy, give you a beat. Let David I, Banner maybe make you one. How no, old? Were you, how how long was it before you knew that he was saying mustard on the beat? <laughs> <laughs> I never knew what he was saying. I thought he said buzzard. Buzzard on the beat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I used to think he said bussing on the beat. Buss it on the beat. Like Buss it on the beat. Bussing a... Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. All I know is that with Wayne, uh, this 10 mil, I just feel like... He needs some good features, too. Yeah, he does. No. I yeah, I need, I, need, I need a whole... I don't want to know Wayne features. I, I do. You want to hear four. Want you want to hear Highland... No, I don't hear that. I want to say this, so I just Tell me want to sing along to it. The, the Carter 4. <laughs> the Carter 4 actually dropped in 2011. Okay. So we Damn. haven't seen a Lil Wayne album since 2011. That's a I long time. I can't rap no more. He might not can rap no more. Rap does go away from you for a while. You can't not, not from Snoop. And then come back. Oh, Snoop can't rap one stuff. Man, Snoop, a lot of Snoop making some other stuff, you know? He ain't doing no, Snoop stuff. He heard no it. He, he got a gospel album. Eminem can't rap no more either. I'm glad can't you brought no that more. up. He can rap. So on he Sundays, can rap. Go ahead. on Sundays, I listen to gospel. Nicki Minaj is on a gospel song. I kid you not. <laughs> Roger. Did they take a did they um change her name to like Nicki Magdalene? <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Nick. <laughs> you'll figure it out. You'll, you'll, you'll hear it one day, I'm sure. It's not it's definitely gonna, more it, than it might play, play. It might play, you know. In a, is, is she with Lecrae? Because that's the only person I know. No, it's not Lecrae. It's with like a, another uh, woman, like a woman singer. I can't I can't think of her name, but she got a little Pan rap LaBelle? verse. And she, Deborah Cox? <laughs> Deborah Cox. How I'm talking about the, uh, that's a poem, you get here? Nobody's supposed to be. Yeah, I don't there. give a fuck. <laughs> How, bitch, I caught the bus. That's what they say. <laughs> in Houston. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man, we, we excited about that Wayne coming through, man. I, I just, still am. I feel like he cheated, though, with the 10 mil. And I guess him, well, give me 10 and then put the quarter five out. Yeah, he was kissing baby last week, right? So I feel like they're trying to. No, nah, they ain't kiss. It was a peck on the cheek. They just hugged. They kissed two months ago. Then he got mad and said, fuck you, baby. 
So nice. you know how we you know how we got a whole lot of respect for Baby. What I've been wondering about is if Lil Wayne go turn up in a ditch somewhere. You know, I don't think Baby want to give up ten million dollars, and that's that's my I'm a little concerned. Say play, oh, I don't know. <laughs> baby ain't that bad. He, 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 for ten nah, million, he, well, he not gonna kill Wayne though. If it was Juvenile, maybe. He not going to kill He him. might think Wayne going to make a bunch of money on the C5. Yeah, he not. Oh, no, but they said it's going to drop on another label besides yeah. um, Cash that, Money. That yeah. man is done with Cash Money from what I understand. Yeah. But, I mean, baby, he need to cut his loss anyway. It's what he say, uh, his his house went uh, foreclosed on. So I put a little list of the five people that I wouldn't talk about in the podcast. I said this in a text group the other day, and it was James Prince Definitely. Sr., who hey. we'll get at in a minute, <laughs> Brian Williams, Percy Miller, Demetrius Flynnroy and and Soldier Slim? No, man. And last but not least, <laughs> Marvin Harrison. <laughs> Marvin, Marvin Harrison. Marvin, 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 Marvin Harrison. Marvin Harrison. I ain't saying nothing about y'all. Can talk about Marvin Harrison all y'all want. Please y'all can talk about Big Meech. Y'all can talk about Big Meech all y'all. <laughs> y'all can have it. I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about Marvin Harrison either. Really After I was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about that man either. I I, I agree with you. I, I I had one of those, you know, you get those ESPN documentaries that you kind of wake up to and on a Sunday on Tuesday afternoon, and you hear the big the big dude talking about, no, I know who shot me. It was Marvin Harrison. No, I I know it. I'm telling you right here on ESPN that Marvin Harrison shot me. Yeah, play the clip. It happened. Yeah. No, it's gonna be a thirty for thirty. Marvin 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 killing niggas. And oh, he and- went to the Hall of Fame before T.O. By, yeah, by the way, that dude that, that dude did die later on. Like, yeah, no. He actually got shot. Marvin Harrison was like, nigga, you were talking about nigga. ESPN, right? Okay. Now I gotta get, now I gotta get you. Hey man, but chill, man. I don't know. It's allegedly. Relax. Allegedly, right? <laughs> this podcast Relax. is brought to you by uh Marvin Harrison, one of my favorite receivers of all time. <laughs> <laughs> one of the one of the best catches ever when he dragged that hey, one foot that one time. I've never seen a guy well, with was the prolific. Response, just, I mean, just a wonderful guy. Yeah, <laughs> really, really good guy. Really good route runner, I good teammate. Yeah, yeah, he's a good guy. I think I'm sure he's a Christian, almost a pastor. He had a um uh, he had a call a call shop. That's what it the the, the shoot took the place. Club. No, he was at a call. Like he had a call, like a I fixed a mechanic shop, and somebody was plexing across the street. <laughs> and Marvin with the desert, out, though, with boy. The desert. Marvin, you ever seen a desert eagle, bro? Hey man, she's stupid. Shug shot me. That's what the dude said. Marvin, Marvin, Marvin. got bodies, man. Yeah. I mean, hey, it is what it is. They they value. See, they'd rather put a black man in the Hall of Fame for shooting another black man and a black man like T.O. who was just speaking his mind for the... Okay, I didn't say that shit. That, We're that abs. Shit. Okay. Oh, um, a couple other things definitely want to get at. Um, we, we mentioned... I wanted to talk about my top Kanye albums. So Go just say that real quick. Uh, I, I, ranked, I ranked them, and this is the order they came out. College Dropout, then Late Registration, Graduation, 808s and Heartbreak. My dark, be- my beautiful dark twisted fantasy, Jesus, Life of Pablo, and Ye. I That's just- his eight albums. Tell me what's his best album. Graduation, man. I say I say late registration, but Graduation. that's fine. What's his second best album to you? Um, what's the Life of I got the Life of Pablo. That's yeah, like, that's yeah. number two for me. Life. Then um number three, Twisted Dog Fantasy. I like that one. I go college dropout for number three. Right, so that's cool. So the first one. I'm gonna like be, be I'm a completely be in the minority on this one. Um, but I'm going. I'm going. 3A and 3B, and it's my dark, twisted fantasy. That's that's my 3B. My 3A is a little bit better. Is for me is 808s and heartbreak. I love that. I kind of hated. I kind of hated 808s heart. That's the that's the um heartless on that one. Yeah. yeah. How could you be so heartless? That was the one right after his mom passed, and I just I didn't. I know he did some different things musically. I just didn't at the time. I remember how I felt at the time, and at the time I didn't love that one. You got your heart broken. It's one of those no, albums for me. For it's it's yeah. one of those albums for me. I know they got an album out there that you listen to that nobody else really listens yeah, to. Yeah, fair enough. And then you meet somebody that likes that same album, and you're like, okay, you well, like you like, you're right. Straight up. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was you straight up. You the one girl. You the one girl. I'm looking so for a chick that know every song on the 808 and Heartbreaks album like I do. That's what I'm looking for in a woman. <laughs> okay. Where are you now, now that I need you? Y'all hear him, ladies. Ba-da-do, ba-da-do, ba-da-do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So the worst Kanye album, um, outside of Ye, because it we never we you haven't listened to it Jesus yet, Raj. By far. Jesus is the worst album to me. I, I ain't that's it was stupid. Other than Black other than bl- Blood on the Leaves, man. Blood on the Leaves. I like that song a lot. 
I like Bound Two. Bound Two was on. Bound there, Two. I like terrible. Bound Two also. Yeah, Bound Two. Both of those. But that songs. album was that album was pretty trash. I, I hated Yeezus. Um, people said that Ye is just Yeezus beats repurposed with um, instead of him talking fuck the white America shit, he's talking about um, I, I love Donald Trump shit. And I, I'm whatever. Who knows? Anyway, we on um, free C five. That's about to happen. Yeah. Um, so a couple other things we want to talk at. You just said something about jazz. James Prince. Don't play, with, don't play with James Prince. That boy done told Drake to not respond, and the Cavs too. He told Drake and the Cavs not to respond, and we haven't heard anything yet. James Prince actually got a book out. Um, he's rolling out. He's out in New York and stuff. But the funny thing about me, like. I looked at it, it was like as soon as the, the beef happened, he put out, oh you know, I you know, I came and told Drake not to respond with the whoop. Well, come up with a book. Now he did a whole rollout in New York and everything. But he he, he spent some real game, you know, just saying playing the pig pen, so uh pig pen mentality with Pusha T D say he went overboard with his with, uh, 40 mama, I mean with uh Drake Mama and talking about 40. You know, man. Don't play with James Prince, man. He said Kanye called him too and told him he ain't want no smoke. <laughs> <laughs> when I when I used to rap, I remember specifically being on a label in Houston, and the guy who was the record label head was like, um, "I'm," he was like, I'm, "I got making sure we got a pistol in here at all times." And I and he was like, "Why?" He was like, "Yeah, you know, the rap a lot niggas might come." <laughs> people is, people have always been scared of rap a lot, man. Like them boys, I don't know. I look, man, I don't know nothing specific, not one thing. I just know. I heard. And I've heard through the grapevine. I've seen with my own eyes. <laughs> Don't play with them cats, boy. At all. The the issue be it be it be the it really just is a numbers game. And rap a lot always be two hundred and fifty five deep. There you go. At the grocery store. When Pusha T was in that elevator, pu- pu- getting pumped oh, by yeah. Baby Them, that was a small percentage of the people. Right, J Prince would have had. Like you wouldn't have been able to move in that elevator. It would have started beeping because it would have been too too heavy. And it would be outside down. I mean, yeah. stop. And now you're just sitting in there, right? <laughs> With all these things, right? And James Prince, like your height, like he's short, he's a little dude. Yeah, I mean, but I, I believe James Prince is still eating off of, like, like let's just be honest, he's eating off of, and I'm a zero. Mm-hmm. He's probably eating she off ain't of making no money, anybody. Man. I'm just any. I'm, I started from the bottom. Okay, Mike Jones. Slim Thug, Paul Wall. He's eating off every all. No, they, they what's happening to him? He's eating off of them, off of off of Bun B, off of Pimp C, um, money that he's making um, residually. He's eating off of Drake. He's eating off of Floyd Mayweather. No, it's over. I think the no, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even understand, I don't even understand why you don't believe this. He ain't still getting the money. Okay, Rod, paying. I'm gonna let you in on this in a second, but go what? He's still paying for Floyd, still paying him because he, he said he only mentioned four years when his contract was up, Floyd went his own way. Now he he got he got he, he doing boxing, he got other uh boxes and stuff. And he got cows, angles, and hay and So he's not eating off of, you you think he eating off of Drake? Yeah, oh yeah, he eating off Drake. My thing is when I see him still hanging not hanging on, I don't even want to put it that way. But in the midst of these people, after the financial stuff is supposed to be over, I still think he's eating off of them. Nah, I don't think so. Nah, I don't know. All right? I don't think so. I know. Right. You said something. I just didn't hear you when you when you chimed in right there. No, uh, it, it, it's nothing. I just it grammar hashtag. Okay, okay. <laughs> I just think he eating off all the boys. That's all. That's all. That's all. I don't think so. Hey. Who is he eating off of? Uh, <laughs> Los <laughs> Marvin uh, Harrison. He, he got his own. But he got his own. Oh, he ain't even off Marvin Harrison. That's <laughs> no, nah, definitely. Marvin Harrison to pull that yapa <laughs> and all them niggas. No, nah, he got businesses. He got, if you on my top five out. list, then you're not scared of another nigga on the top five list. You can't. You can't be. <laughs> like, you can't be on the top five. You scared somebody? <laughs> Why should be on the top five? I think Baby might be scared of James Prince though. Possibly, but I don't think he is. Because he said Baby him owed him some money, and he said uh, from that Drake album, he left him off the producer credits, and he said, uh, you know, we had a conversation about that, and uh, let's just say. That the money is coming back uh, at a very good pace now. Baby, know it's good for business. I don't think Baby's scared. That's the difference. I think he probably look at it like, man, if I go to war with Jay Prince, that's a problem. James Prince got more people than Baby. Of course, it's a problem. But new, but I would assume uh, Baby got more ignorant niggas who will kill somebody. New Orleans niggas is dumb. And then go twerk. <laughs> <laughs> they they kill mind, somebody. Mind and go, if I cut up. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ah, you got to find it. Nice for what? <laughs> What? They standing over the body talking about nice for what? Yeah, like, for wait, what? hold on. Why aren't you being nice to Jay Prince? Nice for what? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, we speak. Speaking of um, of insanity, um, Raj, tell us a little bit about your, your your eyeball your eyeball bandit. I know you you mentioned it before. We didn't know nothing about the story. It's I'm crazy, just curious, man. man. So yeah, a couple of, a couple of years ago, uh, I don't know the exact year, but there was a man that was. Um, I, apparently trying to skip out on on death row, trying to skip out on on that chair or whatever they do to <laughs> that chair, that whatever fire do. squad. I don't know what they do. <laughs> that that you or whatever, whatever they were gonna do to it. <laughs> that uh, crucifixion. Yeah. <laughs> 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 however he was gonna go, you know. I don't know you if know, he, he might have had enough money to get that injection because I hear that's that's pretty painless. So um, <laughs> he ate his own eyeball, um, and now. Uh, he, you know, he still hasn't, he still hasn't gone on, you know, he still hasn't gone through with the killing and, um, wait, Roger, that man with the execution, his excuse me. Eye and ate it. He ate his own eyeball to avoid, you don't die when you pull your eyeball out. <laughs> well, I think he had a conversation. No, apparently not because he took another mug shot. So <laughs> alive and well, just with no eyes. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, he ate both of them? That's questionable because oh I think I last time I saw him, so I saw the old article and read it, and he had one eye, and then now I saw this one, and he got um he he don't have no no eyes now, so I don't know what. No, he don't. He got eyes right now, huh? Shut up. He had a double. If you got murder. one eye, you don't pull out your other eye. Yes, you do. He had double murder. No way. Double murder. He had to get out two times. So let me ask you. I, I, my question, the question that I pose is, I I don't. I don't I'm I'm a careful person, you know, like I don't wanna I don't wanna get in a car accident. I don't wanna put myself in danger. And I feel like there's no danger, like imminent danger. Imminent danger, uh part of that is um being on death row. So uh if you was in the situation, what would you do to not get on that chair? Cause I think that this eyeball thing might work. Cause not his lawyers, his lawyers are arguing that he's mentally ill, not evil, I guess that's the alternative. It's not evil, so you can't kill him because that would be a you know that would be a shame. So what would you do? Well, I feel like that would be a shame. If you don't have no eyeballs, you might well die, right? If you could see, if you didn't have no if you had eyeballs and you ate them, you should die. You should be living. Well, you're crazy. Something wrong with you. And you killed somebody already. And you ain't got no eyes. What the fuck are you doing here? What well, the now, thing is, you're probably not gonna kill anybody else. You? He can't see him. And he's not going to never see the light of day again. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> stupid. He's never going to see freedom again. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Nigga, you but might want to go to but that fucking chair. But what would you do? I mean, would you eat your own eyeball if they tore your head? I know, out? man. I don't, I don't have the guts not to touch. Eyeball. Like, I can't I can't even get contacts because I wouldn't want to <laughs> touch my eye. Right. Much less eat pull my eye out. And then pull my it. eye out? And Are you fucking it. stupid? But then you got to eat it. Like, there's got to be some other, like, big... Uh, I mean, I guess, yeah, I guess the, the alternative is you die. But that's so hypothetical, though. It's like you pull your eyeball out, and like you said, they're still trying to fight to maybe or may not kill you. So if I'm already in, in prison, like life sentence, I mean death row, then I'm probably not going to pull out my eyeball to try to save my life. It's, it's probably funny. But if you say some other shit, like a sh- I'm about to fall in the water and the shark about to eat my bottom, like my whole legs and my dick off, and the only thing I can do is pull my eyeball out and throw it to him so he could not eat my dick off. That's good. I'm going to get that man my eyeball. You got, eye. you got your eye, bro. You'd rather, you'd rather have one eyeball. No, let's say both eyeballs for the, for the sake of it. This no, cutting out. No, no. Nah, cutting nah. that. Well, shit, damn. Now you say both it eat off my dick. Oh, that dick. Nah, nah I'm losing oh, my, my, my dick. I don't know if you got that. I'm just saying, or, or your penis. Just my penis or my legs and my penis? Just your penis. Oh, that's where well, we could start with just the penis or on both, both my eyeball. They might have to take that wood, homie. I could I could do work with that tongue. Like I could still I could still I could I'll be nice at fingering people. You, you, can't, bust, you can't bust. I know you can't bust. I know, but I don't want to be blind, my nigga. I don't want to be <laughs> walking around blind in the motherfucker. <laughs> cut. Yeah, I, I want to not see. I I, I want to see. <laughs> I want to not see. 
<laughs> but I ain't gonna be able to find it. No, man, yeah, man, I don't, nah, man. You be nah. hitting anything, man. You be like, how she look? <laughs> you be know. making all kind of questions with the same person. That would. All you gotta do is feel her wrists. That's how you know. Ah, Rich on that thing. Yeah, man. I, man, things would be getting violated. Mm-hmm. Oh, I might get violated, man. I don't, yeah. Oh, yeah, dog. I don't, I don't. Ooh, that's rough, though. I feel like they can make something for me to have a penis, though. They can't replace your eyes. Yeah, I mean, I feel like computers, you're right, that they can go inside of me and make a pleasure, like, like some something. feeling of pleasure. Anything. That it, it might just be different. It might be a little a little thing I keep on my in my pocket that I click a little bit. <laughs> And I tell that bitch, ready. and then I'm, and I'm, you know, yeah. and I feel good. I feel like a dick would feel, you know. Really? I'm not gonna bust, oh, but really? I feel good. I can just go to Rice and get them to uh, print, 3D print me one. 3D print you in, uh, uh, wood. That's gonna stay hard. Do you want that crook or you want that Reggie? I want, I want. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's go and go all out with this thing, man. Oh, you want the lay mine with the <laughs> crook? Give me lay mine with the slight curve. Ooh. <laughs> I ain't got no legs. Can I get the fishing pole? Y'all niggas are so stupid. I'm not about to, I'm not about to create my can perfect I, dick. That's so funny. Can I get, can I get that fishing pole with uh <laughs> with the with, yeah. Yeah, let me get the uh, let me get the big one? No, look, you can go a little thicker than that. Uh, and then, uh, I go. Make sure you make the veins big. Like yeah. <laughs> No, no, hey, more, more, I need more. No, I need more mushroomy. More yeah. mushroomy. Make the helmet more mushroomy. Right, right yeah. there. All right, all right, let's go. Cool. <laughs> That's good. All right, let's go ahead and print. Y'all ready? Doing, yeah, okay. Is it paper that we good? <laughs> <laughs> so, no, okay, but they printed it. They got to print it with, like, silicone or something. Yeah, print my thing up, man. So we're going to actually give you um, two, Mr. Carlos. We're going to give you one that's going to be um, that that soft, and we're going to give you that hard. Cool. So you can kind of swap them swap out the before, you, real quick. before you smash. Wait a minute, bitch. <laughs> So I, so if that's the case, then the soft one, I'm going to need that soft one to be big, big, like show off. Yeah. Soft. So, okay. Show big. Permanent yeah. print. Show big. Oh, that show thing got to be up. Yeah. Yeah. And does it screw <laughs> in or does it like suction cup or, or pop or, or Velcro. Velcro? Velcro? No, not Velcro. You got, Velcro, the soft one is Velcro though. You don't want to make too much noise, you know, because it could come off as <laughs> You know, you don't want to do that. <laughs> and well, then you mess around and think, and think hit the floor, you got all those stickers and stuff. Yeah, I have to have the Velcro. The surgery to make it a screw in, like it had to, because yeah, I don't, I want it to be, you know. But that's a long time. It can't snap in like like some pants, like a little, like some old Lee jeans. A button. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like 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 the look, like your earring back. You just <laughs> <laughs> you ever try to screw your earring back in? Your earring in, you be screwing all that. Nah, give me give me the fake that is pop that thing in there. Pop. It'll be an extra twenty thousand dollars for the surgery. Yeah, okay, how much it is? <laughs> yeah, no, it don't matter. It don't matter how much it costs. Cause if I'm going, to, if I'm going to get a, a new penis surgery, I'm gonna I'm gonna expect to spend some money. Yeah, I'm gonna expect that. Yeah, because I mean, I'm sure some they got some uh, some women out there who um, have changed their gender to male who who didn't had the surgery who got um, a big some big nice wood now. Yeah. I would. And like I heard to, when they do I those surgeries like that happen, couldn't I? Don't. And I, and I, I heard do. when they do those surgeries, they like. Um, like turn the clitoris into like the head or some shit. I don't know some shit to where they get that same kind of sensation. They might not turn the clitoris into the head, but they put it somewhere on the new wood to where they get like a sensation when they have. So a can sex. you can you go get that lemon? Or you just get a red? Oh man, if you, like, we just answered that question. If you're getting that dick, you are gonna get that dick. But can you though with the same sensation? Like you, oh, yeah. you're a woman getting it turned into one. You know what I'm saying? They take, I think they, they just take what's inside and just pull it out. I think that's why I always it's, thought it's that. like have you ever seen have you ever seen, have you ever seen somebody make Buddha? It's like you put, it, you put some rice in it. Y'all stupid, bro. You pull it and just pull that thing out of there. And it's fill it with some rice. Rice and meat. He's stupid. Is this long enough, Mr. Hey. Antoine? Cue that music, but not nice to say. You know, they say if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. If you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. Nothing nice, nice to say, but I'll go nice. So earlier I mentioned a little bit about a conversation we've been having uh, with some of the some of the listeners since the last podcast. And actually they brought up the Morgan Freeman thing. And they said that Morgan Freeman is a dirty old man. And, no, and no. we shouldn't, we as black people, shouldn't excuse bad behavior just because someone's talented. The, the young lady who told me this lives in Chicago, and I think that that's an interesting thing because, you know, the thing that comes to mind is R. Kelly. Um, he had that bad behavior, and as black people, we just kind of brush that under the, the table if you can dance and sing. And, mm-hmm. and the same thing with Morgan Freeman, if you can act. 
or Chris Brown, if you could dance and sing, then you could you could punch your old lady, or or Ray Rice, if you could run that football, you could punch your old lady. And we as black people, are, uh, Michael Vick, if you think it's egregious to kill dogs, we just brush it away because we're like, you know, this person is talented, so we continue to give them a second chance. I think there's a point to be made there, and I think that that is true, and I think that as a people, we should hold people accountable for what they do. But I'm, you know, of that of that mindset that I would I don't want to punish myself by punishing somebody else. I say that with boycotts all the time. So I say it like, hey, if R. Kelly got a dope song or even more pertinent of an issue for right now, Kanye has a great song. I'm not going to say I don't want to listen to Kanye just because we boycott him. And in the same way, I'm going to be like, I want to listen to R. Kelly even if he pees on little girls. He's a disgusting human being, but if he makes a good song, what that got to do with me? I want to listen to that good song. Um, <laughs> but the bigger issue that I want to say is, it got me thinking about the Morgan Freeman thing. The Morgan Freeman thing, to me, is still... The issue is not if he's a dirty old man or whatever. The issue is what Raj said a couple of weeks ago. That in 2018, if they had Me Too allegations, that should have happened years ago. If they're happening now, they're being fabricated. They're being fabricated not because he's not doing the stuff. It's because people are walking him into situations to get him in trouble. Morgan Freeman and everybody else. You should be smart enough not to be caught up in that situation. But hell, sometimes it happens. Hmm. And in these cases, it's happening by white women who are setting up black men to be in a negative light. I was watching the episode of Fear of Walking Dead. Trust me, terrible show. Don't watch it. It sucks. It's not like the first Walking Dead is bad. Fear of Walking Dead is even worse. But they got two black men as like some of the lead characters. And one of them this week, this little white girl pulled a gun on him. Um, so she's one of the, the, the lead actresses too. And she put it in his face. And she was like, um, don't move. I'll shoot you, fucking, shoot you in the fucking head or something. And I was like, God damn, that made me feel like, it made me feel something just watching that scene. I don't like to watch the the white woman with the gun pointed at a black man's head. Because I feel like in history, in the real world, in life, that's happened so many times figuratively that when I see it actually, it makes me sick. So many times when you see a Emmett Till situation happening, that's the most extreme. But when you see things like LeVar Ball, when he was talking to that woman on, on the Fox News thing, and then all of a sudden she was like, oh, don't call. Oh, oh you, are you are you threatening me? Yeah. When they automatically start weaponizing themselves. So when I see that real weaponization of a white woman, like the, the actual physical manifestation of that, of them with a gun pointing at a black man, it just makes me think about all of that. I, we said this many times on the podcast. I don't have nothing really wrong with white women, but I, I fear their power. So in that vein... I don't have nothing nice to say about people who feel a way about us defending black men. So I won't say anything at all. Power to the people. That's all. That's all. <laughs> We're gonna defend I'm gonna defend black men on the podcast. That's it. I mean, you got a point about it. I'm gonna defend. I mean, yeah, why not? You know, why not? You're supposed to, you're a black man. In America, nobody else defending us. Yeah. You got to, man. In that way. We need us, bro. Especially if, you know, if boys got two eyeballs, I'm with it. Rocking with that boy. And his dick? <laughs> and his dick. <laughs> that's next. That's what, that's what he has actually on his Twitter. His jail Twitter. He says, would you, if, would this, you eat your if dick? this don't work. Would you eat your dick for death row? To go he said, if this don't work, I guess I got to go with that wood. And, and no one no one really knew what it meant, but that's what it said on his Twitter. <laughs> He's going to eat that dick. with that wood. I can't eat that dick. Nah, I'm going, I'm going to jail. I mean, the most extreme would be cut it off and throw it away, but I can't eat that dick. Because, I mean, even if it's with my dick, I'm eating dick. He could have threw his yeah. eyeball away, too, but the the what makes it crazier is to just eat it. Like, what I'm going to do with it? <laughs> what I'm going to do with this eyeball I just pulled out of my eye? Hmm. No, nah, you know what make it crazy? If you walk around holding them like this, <laughs> like holding them by you your chin. Look at it, turn it, turn it. <laughs> yeah, like you can see people. Like, you, <laughs> you hold them in your hand. Okay, it, it makes me think about the age old question. I'm asking this before we get out of here. I remember when it was in like middle school, like boys used to ask stuff like this. This is the type of things middle school boys talk about. If your dick was long enough to suck, would you suck it? <laughs> no, I'm not sucking Have you ever thought about this? Now, has somebody ever asked you that? <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay. no, I've definitely been asked that. <laughs> and what's the rationale for, for all youngsters who may ever listen to this podcast? What's the rationale to say no? Because no is always the right answer. Gay. You what's the rationale? I mean, it's gay. The, like, no. The I mean, rationale. <laughs> yes, I'm getting hit, but I'm also giving hit. <laughs> yeah. No problem with being gay is pride money or something like that. So I, I, will say, I will say that I think that I have a bunch of friends 
We probably no, I'm gonna say we have mutual a bunch of mutual friends that I think would definitely hit that own wood. They probably have them. just hot, just being hot. I want to suck my own wood. Yeah, why not? I don't got that's no, my I shit. Got no, that's because that's no what I thought you was friends. asking. What's the rationale for sucking your, that own wood? Is but well, that's my shit. <laughs> <laughs> but it's your dog. Like I know I get it. <laughs> nah. Good. No, don't suck your own dick, kids. Don't suck your own dick. Hey, we gonna holler at y'all next week. By this time, LeBron probably gonna be swept out the finals. Holla, 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 hol